Hello everyone, today I will be showing you how AutoSyst Fleet Maintenance Software makes it very simple and easy to set up reminders for your fleet. Now you can set up reminders based on date and or odometer. So once you've clicked inside the unit, we click on the reminders tab and we can start setting up our reminders so that you can get notifications sent to you and your team about important things that need to be done. Now there's three ways we track odometer since we're not connected to the unit itself. Uh, the current odometer field here can be updated on demand so that's the first way. The most manual way is clicking on the pencil icon via the web portal which you're seeing today or through our mobile app which is available for iOS and Android and I'll be demoing that shortly as well. But basically you can update this on demand and then that will help trigger reminders based on odometer. The second way we track odometer is every time you enter a service record, fuel record, or an inspection, there is an add odometer field in each of those sections. So whenever there is a greater odometer than what the current odometer is showing, it will automatically update to that odometer. For example, you add a service item or fill up gas or do an inspection and the odometer, let's say, is 52,500, it will automatically update this current odometer field helping to trigger reminders because it takes the latest odometer. It only goes forward, it never goes backwards. The third way you can track your odometer through our system is there is a tool here called the odometer calculator. If you click this, you will be able to pull up a, a little box that says on average how many miles do you drive this vehicle per year right now we put 10,000 so whenever you whatever number you put here on an annual basis we will automatically update the current odometer for you on a daily basis helping it keep an accurate reminder going for you so between those three ways we pretty we give a pretty accurate reminder considering that we're not connected to your vehicle or asset itself now you can also track by hours not just by miles as well as kilometers. If you click on the vehicle settings area, you will be able to update your metrics and track by whatever you want. So miles, hours, or kilometers. Now let's go ahead and set up our reminder so you can kind of see it in action. If I click on add reminder, basically I'm going to set up an oil change and it'll remember uh, based on your history uh, as you do that, but we're going to call it test just so we can identify it quicker. And we're going to set it up for the 24th or at 53,000 miles. Now, if you remember, we had uh, 52,000 and change uh, in our current odometer, so we're gonna set it for 53,000 miles. Now, this is important because we need to set a baseline reminder in order for it to trigger first, and then you can set recurring intervals. Now, everything you see here is optional. If you just wanna set it by date, or you just wanna set it by odometer, you are more than welcome to do so, but for the example, I'm doing both. And then also, same with the recurring. If you don't wanna set a recurring one, you don't have to, but for the example I'm going to, we have months, days, and years, so you have the option of how you want it to recur. We'll put 12 months or every 5,000 miles. You also have the option to add any documentation here, so if you have things that, that refer to the reminder, you can attach it for reference, and then you can also set a priority level, high, medium, or low. You could put notes here, like part numbers or whatever it may be, and then you also have the option to add custom fields here. So right now we have two custom fields that we had pre-added before, but you can add as many custom fields here to personalize it. So now that our reminder is set up, we go ahead and hit save, and then now this reminder will show up as not due because uh, obviously it's not due yet, due by the odometer or by the date. So it shows you that it's due Friday or in 900 miles. Now, uh, when this reminder triggers, uh, we'll do it just very quickly here by updating the odometer so you can see it in action. So once, once this reminder becomes overdue, you'll see that the reminder shows up in red and immediately shows due and then also a bubble notification comes on the garage. Now this will show up on the mobile app as well, letting you know that there is an open reminder uh, for that specific unit and you'll be able to see the details very quickly. This one's over by 100 miles and uh, essentially you can start to take action based on the workflow that you set up with your team. Now when you want to mark a reminder completed, you can click on the actions button, but before I do that, you will get email notifications sent to you as well as everyone on your team. As well, um, you will get a push notification through the app, kind of like a text message, letting you know that this reminder is due. So anybody that you give access this vehicle to uh, on your team, they will see that reminder 
uh, show up on their phone or on their tablet or wherever the app is installed, as well as an email notification, and that can all be controlled in the fleet management tools area. So let's go ahead and say someone go ahead uh, completes this reminder. Now you can do it on the app or on the portal, and you hit mark as completed. It'll ask you a few questions here before it marks it completed because it's a recurring reminder for every 12 months or every 5,000 miles. It'll ask you, do you want to set it 12 months from the original reminder date, which was uh, the 24th, or do you want to set it from today's date, which is the 20th, so it'll remind you 12 months from that. So we'll go ahead and do it since we completed it today. We'll do it from today's date. And then it says, please select the next odometer for this reminder. Do you want to do it from uh, 5,000 miles of the original or what the current is showing? We'll do it from the current as well, but it gives you the option uh, to do whatever you please. And then you hit submit. And then the last question it'll ask you is, do you want to create a service record for this completed reminder? Now, this is important because if you want a, a history of what's been done, you would want to hit yes here because it is related to service, like an oil change or something like that. But for example, if it's registration or tag renewal, you may not want a service record created. So that uh, is up to you. But if you click yes, it'll automatically route to the service section and save a service record so you have a history. For the sake of time, I'm going to hit no. And then now you'll see that the reminder has cleared. So the bubble notification has cleared. And then now it shows as not due. So if you click test, it'll show not due. And then it automatically sets the next interval, which is one year from today's date or in 5,000 miles. So that is a quick uh, view of how simple it is to set up reminders within the AutoSys system so that you can stay on top of important things. Um, I'll put uh, the links in the notes below and if you have any questions, uh, feel free to reach us anytime at support at But we look forward to seeing you next video.